What's up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your Canon 90D, the internal software to edit photos using the built-in Canon 90D software straight from the camera. I'll show you the very basics, it's really easy to use and you can edit your photos on the go. So say you're out touring or taking photos, you can always make adjustments in the camera and then save a copy of that photo that's already been adjusted. Stick around if this tutorial is for you and I hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can edit your photos using the internal built-in Canon 90D software tools. First thing you want to do is obviously have some photos on your camera so that you can play around with them and then switch your camera on. So turn your 90D on and then go to the photo preview panel down here. As you find your photo that you want to edit, go ahead and click the Q button on your camera to open up the editing options. Right, I'm going to go through all of these starting at the top left corner they're quite easy to master so don't fear the first option is called the protect images option this enables you to lock specific images so that you don't end up deleting them by accident so if you lock an image you will not be able to delete it from the camera so if you've got something really valuable or you took a really good photo or video you can go ahead and lock it up that way you won't be deleting that image by accident next option if you go down so I'm using the set wheel here to navigate up and down next option is to rotate the images so you can can basically go to the left to rotate the image left or you can go to the right to rotate the image right into like a portrait mode setting instead of landscape so I'm just going to leave my image like it is right now because that's what fits this photo and then the next option is called the rating option so this is what you would use to rate your photos from one to five so if you've got a favorite photo you can give it five stars if you've got average photos you could give it four three two or even one star if it's not your favorite and you might delete it later down the line so this is good if you want to filter the photos out for either deleting or for just previewing your best ones and there is a search function over here in this camera that will enable you to search by the star rating that you apply to your photo so you could do that so for example I'm going to leave this photo with let's say a four star rating and then all you got to do is just go down to the next option and you'll see in the top corner here you've got the rating on the photo next option is called the creative filters and what this does is now this is where it starts editing the actual photo but don't be afraid to apply these filters it will not touch your original photo your original photo will be saved it will just create a new copy of this photo with the filter if you choose to save it so you've got things like the grainy black and white filter soft focus filter fisheye effect art bold effect, water painting effect, toy camera and miniature effect. So for example, let's try out the grainy black and white effect. So if I click set on that filter, give it a few seconds. There you go, it's applied it and it still gives you like a fine tuning tool where you can maybe remove some contrast or you could add some contrast, make it high contrast. Each little filter has different settings on there so you can play around, figure out what looks best for your photo. So now if I'm happy with that, I can click set and then I can save my image as a new file, say OK, and you'll see it's saving, it gives it a new file number, and it's then returning to the original image. So if you click OK, you're back on the original image. Now let's go ahead and try a different one. So let's try something like a toy camera effect, maybe. It applies kind of like a darkened corners effect, and you can change the tone of the photo as well, so you can make it more orange or more kind of cool tone blue. Applies different effects. If you don't want to save it, just go back by clicking the menu button on top here, and you're out so there's also a nice art bold effect which kind of gives it this vibrance and very bright colors which might not be good for this photo because it's already colorful so I'd need to then change the effect to a bit lower and yeah that's kind of how this works and to save the photo you can also click on the screen set over here and save it as a new file I'm just going to cancel that and come out of here back to the main menu. So those are our creative filters. Now if I scroll down, this option lets you resize your photo. So if for some reason you're finding it that you don't have enough space or you want a clear space or your photos are taking up too much space, you can use this option to resize them. If I go to the right, you'll see you can resize your photo to a medium size, which will be 15 megabytes, 4,800 by 3,200 pixels. So this is like a medium size. And then if I go more to the right, you'll see the photos 
size starts getting smaller and even more smaller as you get to S2. And these are 3.8 megabyte photos now, which are easily sent on your phone to anyone else. So if you want to share on social media, this size would be good enough. So now I'm going to go back and go down one. And this is where you can crop your image. So it says cropping set to crop image. So I'm going to go ahead and click set. And now, as you can see, there's like a little green border that appears around my image. Now, this green border works kind of like a smartphone, so you can squeeze it with your two fingers to decrease it or expand it. And you can kind of size it up to match your photo, and then you can use your finger to just move it around however you want it to appear on your photo. If you're happy with that, you can click this button on top here to save your photo, which we'll do in a second. But for now, I just want to show you. So there's another option here. If you click this button here, this lets you rotate your photo either to the left or to the right. So if you took a photo that's not really straight, you can use this option to then adjust it this way. Now go back to our menu and there's also like predefined photo sizes. So you've got three by two frame, 16 by nine frame, four by three frame, one by one frame. So for Instagram and things like that. So it depends what you want it for. You can then go and choose a predefined frame or you can use your fingers and choose a frame that you like. So I'm just gonna choose this three by two and then save the photo, save as a new file. Yes, please say okay image saved in the folder returning to the original image so now we've got our photo cropped and we can carry on so now if i go down this button just exits back to your main menu and then if i scroll down this lets you decide when you're scrolling through your photos how many photos do you want to jump at a time so i normally have this set to one photo at a time but you could do things like 10 images at a time if you've got thousands of photos on your phone you could do jumps like by date and by folder and by movie files only or still images which is your photo photos or even by locked images or even by the star rating so that's a little option to help you kind of jump quickly between the photos you're looking for and the next option is our image search option now the image search option is basically just like a little filter you can use to search for different images you can search by your rating by your date folder protected images type of files you can do movie or stills so for example if we wanted to search by rating of four which we gave our photo we can then go ahead and set that and you can can see here in the top left corner there's already two photos in the back i'm just going to clear that out then we can see all our photos so if i come back out of the menu the last available option that we've got here at the bottom is creative assist now this is really nice for fine tuning your photos inside the camera so go ahead and select creative assist and you'll now see it opens up a whole bunch of options so you've got things like presets so if i click on presets it lets you actually choose a predefined preset and it lets you preview it in live view so while you're viewing the photo you can select to preview your preset so let's say for example there's a green there's cool presets there's warm soft let's go for vivid let's see how that looks it's a bit bright but yeah that's fine so you can choose which one looks the best for your photo and once again if you're happy with your preset you can click it to select you click on top here to save it but you can leave the preset for now and adjust the brightness so this will let you then play with the brightness you can make it really darker or you can brighten up your photo if you feel it needs more light like this photo does so once you're done you just click set and then you can move to the next one the next one is contrast and once again we can either increase or decrease our contrast using this option so if we're happy with our contrast we click set and then we go over to saturation which will increase or decrease the color so we can actually go to neutral will take away most of the color and it will make the photo look very desaturated or you can make it more vivid by going to the right hand side to add all the color back click set once again to move on to the next one here you've got things like the color tone so color tone just lets you add some amber color or do you want to add blue color so in this case we can take away some amber and make it more blue for example and that basically adjusts the photo's color tone so if i click ok and then go to the next one this is also color tone but it does magenta and green so the next one is monochrome which is the last option here so this basically lets you make your photo either black and white or sepia it's like a monotone photo or blue which will make it all blue or purple or even green so these are the options available to you i'm just going to say none of these i don't want those but if i'm happy with the ones we set earlier just click on top here and say save as a new file say okay and it saved it as a new file with your images and your options now applied to your photo and it's as easy as that this is how you would edit a photo inside the canon 90d so i hope this helps you out
And thanks for watching, that's how simple it is to edit your photos inside the Canon 90D. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps you out. And if you liked this video, do give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to this channel. I'm aiming to release one video per week, so hopefully I'm going to have many more cool videos to come. So thank you all for watching, take care, be safe and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.